Let's go for a drive in my Mark 7 Golf R. So you join me in my Mark 7 Golf R. It's a fairly wet, miserable, cold March in 2023. And yeah, I'm going to go for a quick drive and uh, yeah, kind of talk to you through this car. You know, obviously I've got my Focus RS as well, which you may have seen on the channel. Yeah, you know, please check that one out and obviously subscribe for plenty more content. I still own my Mark 7 Golf R and actually just being back in this now, I love it so much. Mine's three door manual. Um, yeah, I've owned it, owned it about six years, it's on about 44,000 miles, but let's go for a drive. It's pretty wet, good for four wheel drive and let's have a chat. So yeah, let's get on with this one. So this is the exact same sort of location where I actually um, yeah showed my kind of first drive in the Focus RS edition. So it's really interesting actually to do another little, just sort of dedicated though on the Golf R. Um, I love this car so, so much. And straight away, you got the performance get monitor shown there. I, I like that. Um, six speed manual gearbox, uh, it's just, seats are super comfy ah uh, just brings back yeah what i've loved about this car so much and you know yeah i just love it i can go on forever can't i let's go for a drive shall we nice lorry there um so yeah she's nice and warm um i'm gonna put auto start stop off and i'm gonna turn traction control all the way off just because yeah the rs is kind of fun from normal this kind of needs a little bit of perking up um we've got it in race mode but um yeah if you actually change it that opens the valves you have to kind of go off and on to get it it's a bit of a bit of a random one so hopefully you guys can see all okay and we'll um yeah we'll make a move so <laughs> Yeah, there's a few things that I've noticed with this car <laughs> um, that I just, I, I absolutely love it, you know. I mean, if, you, if you're if a familiar subscriber to my channel, you obviously know about this car. If you're not, please subscribe, please check it out. And, you know, I really, really do think this car is just perfect for literally everyone. I don't think there's anyone out there who wouldn't find a Golf R useful, whether you're, um, you know, a car enthusiast or not. Um, as <laughs> I so straight away get into having fun. Really interestingly, fucking hell, this car still pulls. 300 horsepower, four wheel drive. Um, it's pretty good. My car's completely stock. Um, the only thing I've got on this is Club Sport S front discs and um, it's Brembo rear discs and stuff, but it, it's all sort of like relatively standard. Club Sport S disc being an option on another facelift mark 7.5 golf r those have been really really good for me really really good and actually coming out of the rs edition they feel really really great stopping power i actually went for a drive and i met up with some friends and one of the friends i was in the car with i said to him you know tell me what you think about this car when we've done our sort of journey and stuff and came back to mine parked up and i asked him you know what he thought comparing this to well he was in the r we were in the rs um and he said this felt faster, which is really interesting. Bear in mind my Mark III Focus RS has 440 horsepower. It's what does weigh a little bit more than this, I will be honest. But I found that really interesting. He said certainly initially it just felt like it was really quicker. But he said obviously it felt like the RS would push on when you're really going for it. But I found that sort of feedback really intriguing because I get where he's coming from because this car is, is, I think it punches above its weight, personally. This is in race mode, so you get a sound symposer. Um, you can obviously open the valves, you can quiet it down quite a lot as well. We got it in fourth. Traction fully off, but obviously still got to be sensible throttles firmer my brakes they're really really good actually in this with the club sport s i actually <laughs> the gearbox is actually really nice <laughs> i know i keep going back and forth but and it's such a quick car um obviously and just to the conditions it works well obviously my mine being in limestone gray it's a little bit more subtle less you know if you know you know the RS, I've been having so many, you know, bear in mind I'm sort of like two, three months into ownership as that person just drives right on my side of the road. Um, it attracts a lot of attention and some people potentially may get the wrong impression, but for me, it's just, I just want to make people happy. I'm not like some sort of showy kind of guy, but let's see this thing pull. And yeah, you know what? I don't know. I think, um, I think my friend's onto something. We're now into March and I'm sort of like, maybe this car is just as quick, you know? 
feels really, really quick. Certainly more than quick enough for the real world. First to second, as kind of mentioned, can be a little bit tricky in this. <laughs> oh, it punches. She punches. 44,451 miles, my little six-year-old car, which isn't massive, but it's not nothing. I, and I know some of the sound is fake. Well, a lot of it is fake. It's pumped in from the engine or from the dash. It does make you feel good. And a lot of people just think you're in a grey Golf, you know, 1.6 TDI. You know, and, and I've always contemplated about the Mark 8 Golf R as well. And obviously, probably work out. I am in a position to have a Mark 8 Golf R. Obviously, I own both cars. Um, but I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Obviously, I get two cars for the price of one. <laughs> yeah, just, I cannot, I can literally see myself taking this car to the end of time. I really, really can. Really can. So, so good for everything so so good dsg and five door is probably the best bet i have a three door manual that was partly because when i bought this car pretty much brand new it's for a cost perspective and i liked the manual i knew the manual was kind of going away so i had that if you can remember i turned in this roundabout and it's quite difficult in the rs because the turning circle isn't exactly the best but in the golf r no problems no problems at all you just have to be so delicate and ah oh, it's so nice you don't get any wheel slip I mean it's so it's really confidence inspiring and actually the seats definitely sit higher in the RS and in this I mean I've pumped it up a little bit now since I've been in the RS but you sit a lot lower and that does just give you a more sporting feel and having a little bit more comfortable seats which aren't buckets is quite nice um, this car's also got the economy factor going for it I, I can get into the 40s out of this I can get over 400 miles to a tank which is nice in fact I went to Scotland and I got 500 miles to a tank out of a Golf R and this car has a sixth gear which is really or well, the gearing's super short super short and um, Oh man, I can't stop smiling. And <laughs> it means it actually revs quite high. It revs, revs at like 2,800 at sort of like 70 miles an hour, which is quite high. It's still, still fine. Stick it in eco, it quiets things down. It makes everything more eco. Obviously it's, it's not as eco as, as you could probably get from a, like a normal Golf. <laughs> I do like these roads as well. Happy car. Yeah, it just it just has that real push you push you back kind of sensation. And I think actually maybe where my friend was coming from as well, because it's so it's a lot more refined in here, this Mark 7 golf platform. And it obviously can be a quieter car, mind having a Miltech exhaust and whatnot. It sort of surprises passengers when you're suddenly like, oh my, oh my days, this car's on it. I actually, um, in my head, I know that a Porsche designer helped design the Golf R. They, they worked with VW, obviously part of the same group. And I almost imagined this as being like a Porsche hatchback. <laughs> and for the prices of these, I mean, anywhere from 15,000 for a very low 2014, not so great car, up to 25, 30,000 for a good car. I just think it's a bargain bargain of the century buy it hold it done you know I've never I'm not personally a finance person I've owned this car from outright from new I own my Focus RS outright as well and it just gives me the flexibility to I decide what I want to do with cars 
and I just like keeping them forever and yeah if an off you know if someone made a stupid offer then yeah I'm probably gonna consider it but I just it's such a great car and I don't really know what more to say than that it's great to get it out it's great to get to drive around in it any issues recently I had to top up the coolant a little bit I recently as in back into last year had the thermostat and water pump replaced very common on these EA AAA engines it's all documented on my channel and I think um, when I spoke to the garage he did at SEC in St Albans very close to me um, he just said it was like air escaping and they'd only just changed it so that's kind of common so it sorted itself out I gave it a little top up and actually it wasn't even as low as I was kind of worrying myself about and obviously no leaks I've had a new clutch in this as well the manual that was about a year and well yeah about um, over a year now I'm trying to work out my times yeah about a year and a bit ago now for that clutch the manual yeah you probably really want an uprated clutch if I'm honest but I like the stock clutch feel very nice Bentley there and the car's been great economical running costs decent this has got full VW service history and it's, it's it's just so good other than a Haldex service and keeping an eye on things it's just usual stuff get your brake fluid done get um, oil change get your sparks done every now and then happy days very happy days so final thoughts love the car it's not going anywhere so yeah if people are wondering it's still here and I still love it and yeah comment below any questions and subscribe for plenty more content i do actually have a new shop now i've recently set up and it's pretty much dedicated to you guys on the channel so yeah all your support it just goes into helping running the channel it's as simple as that it's all for you and it's just part of what i'm trying to create and hopefully you enjoy it and um, that's the, the best way you can support the channel small or big and um, you obviously get something in return so like iphone cases t-shirts hoodies everything and i'm sort of doing my own little design on it and i'm updating it as it go along so products will disappear and reappear and um, new things will come out quite regularly because um yeah i have the ability to do that any feedback on that would be great and i'll leave like um in the pinned comment and in the description to check out the shop and yeah subscribe for plenty more content to come